I'm Janet and I have an unboxing haul for you today from Hobby Lobby with um, most everything that we bought is on clearance and it is so large I can't get it in the camera frame here and so I'm going to turn the video off here in just a second I wanted to kind of show you the mess of what was in front of me here and I'm going to move everything off to the side and then we'll go through it bit by bit. Okay, I am somewhat organized now. Um, I'm going to go through a few random things and then we'll go into the painting category. So there are a few different areas on clearance at Hobby Lobby right now. Um, one is is um, the painting um, section. The other is um, sketchbooks, notebooks, and um, paintbrushes and pens. So um, I'm just going to start with a few random things and then we'll go on to paint. So I found this little piece um, hanging on an end cap. It was reduced down from $7.99 to $1.99 and it had these keys on it. Now I do make jewelry and these would be cute for jewelry and there are two of each color. However, I also thought that they could be cute glued down on a mixed media piece. Um, so, cause they're kind of small for jewelry, although adding beads and so forth, or, you know, using them as a dangle, it is not quite long enough for me to be a bracelet. Um, it might work for someone else, um, but my wrists are a bit large. So, uh, um, this would not work for me just leaving it as is. Um, but that was the reduced price. So I'm just going to set that off to the side here and then Along the back wall in my store is where they have like all of the clearance collections of things. Um, and I bought two Cricut blades. Um, so this one is the um, wavy blade. And you can see here that its original price was $29.99, marked down to $7.19. You have to have the tool that this hooks onto, which I do have. However, um, this is the tool as well. And so here, this one, uh, $49.49 marked down to 1187 and this is the um, basic perforation blade and quick stop quick swap housing so these two will work together and i will put that into my cricut collection they are both um blades i did not have but i wasn't really sure that i had a need for either of them but once um, i saw them on a clearance section i thought you know for this this price and this reduction um this was a great find so um i will put that into my cricut stash which is right behind me and that's where i was reaching off to okay the next thing um a little irritated <laughs> with this um this was on an end cap and it's called inclusions and i was um, getting it for working with resin however it would work for shaker cards too it's a nice size tube you can see here that it's um 110 grams and it fits um in the full length of my um hand it has um, a Your Price sticker on it for $4.49. Now, some of you that are Hobby Lobby shoppers are going to know about this, um, but it kind of irritated me today. So what happened was this was on an end cap and it had a sign in front of it that said 50% off. So I grabbed it. I walked around to the jewelry section where they also had these. And once again, lo and behold, right in front of it, it also had the price tag that said 50% um, off. If you look at that price tag and you go down really, really close to the price tag or the 50% the off display tag, at the very bottom, it says it excludes your price and something else. Um, so... I actually went through the checkout line. I paid for this, paid full price, realized it before I got out of the store. Had to go back, stand in line again because they only had one cashier. Um, waited to get up to the front, showed it to her, and she said to me, well, it's a your price. Those don't ever go on sale. They don't ever get marked down. That That is the markdown price. That is your saving price. I asked to speak to a manager and explain the situation to her um and she said the same as well so i walked back i said i was going to go and walk back and look because it was very misleading and so i took two pictures and i'll show those to you here and um 
I understand that that's the store policy. Some of you might already be familiar with it. That was new to me. Um, that I want to bring it up here so that you're aware and you pay attention um, to that in the future so you know that you're not going to get a discount on these items. And um, I am going to send that to um, the corporate office because I feel like it was very misleading. Um, the items that were 50% off on that end cap as well as in the display were down below the items that said your price and they could have easily moved that 50% off sign down a bit um, so it was in front of the items that were actually on sale and not in front of the items that were not on sale so uh, lesson learned and I wanted to share that with you um, not that I'm angry about it I grabbed it because I um, thought 50% off on this I would use it um, however um, I don't know that I would have grabbed it at full price. So, um, you know, it was a 50% off sign that, that got my attention because we were there shopping clearance. So, um, just a warning and something to pay attention to in the future. All right. So moving on after that little rant, I will move on to, um, my items that were actually on clearance and in the paint section. So um, they had a lot of different natural sponges and I almost just grabbed one that had two in it, but for a dollar more, I got um, these additional ones down here. I don't really have a plan for them, but I, you know, they're nice, they're useful for many different things. They're originally $8.99, reduced down to $2.24. And so I have five different natural sponges here um, for that price. So that was a nice find. Then um, my daughter, saw this it was out in the aisle kind of like where they're showing um the things that are um you know how they have those sections or like it's a counter that has four sides on it and built up kind of pyramid like where they're um more featured items so this was on one of those uh and this is an acrylic paint set it's a really nice little wooden box i'm not going to open it because it's not mine it's hers um however i did want to show it to you because of the pricing it was 29.99 marked down to 11.99 now i don't know if this is always on sale um but it looks like everything is in here except for um, a water container. So she has this nice kit that um, she can take with her on the go if she wants to. Um, it says three paint brushes. There's another slot here. I'm not quite sure what that is. Oh, maybe it's the palette. No, this is the palette. I was thinking it said palette knife. It says three paint brushes, 12 acrylic paints over here. A sketch pencil, maybe that's what's there. An eraser, I think that's right there. A sharpener, and the wood box. So all of that for just a little over, well, $12 total. So even, I mean, that's just a really nice box and nice contained. And, and um, I think down the road, she could even, you know, replace the paints that are in there. So I thought that was a cute kit for her. Then I found um, there were a lot of paints on sale, and um, I just grabbed these three. Um, they are thick bodied acrylic, and I have them upside down to you, but here, here we go. Um, they were pretty well picked over on their paints and what was on sale. They also, I, the first thing that caught my eye was some pouring mediums, which I did not buy because I have some, and I really don't do a lot of pour painting. Um, so I didn't grab those. However, they were um, on sale. And um, so were a bunch that watercolors, oils, and acrylics were on sale. Um, so this is the Mat Master Touch brand, which what I understand is a Hobby Lobby brand. So I'm not sure why they're selling off of their items. I thought for sure they would be selling off other name brands because they're trying to bring in their own products. Maybe they're repackaging. I'm not sure. But I grab anyway, I grabbed these three. They also had these in um, a few colors in a, even a larger size tube, I believe. Yeah. So these were the three I bought. They were um, $9.99 marked down to $2.49. So basically $2.50, unless that says seven. I'm going to have to look at my receipt, but I thought that was $2.49. Um, 
So let me just take a quick look here. Do I'm not. I really don't think I paid because I'm not seeing a seven here. I'm also not seeing a two. <laughs> two forty nine. Hmm. Yeah, two forty nine. So they were marked down to two forty nine, and the colors I got were iridescent bright silver, iridescent bright gold, and then Payne's gray. And I will show you that these have, um, you know, the protective coating on it. Let me just grab a scrap out of my trash can here. Um, this is just cardstock. And I will just quickly swipe these three colors so you can see, maybe. Okay, there we go. So, paint gray, it's like a very, it's kind of a blue-black, I would say, um, if you're not familiar with it. And then the gold, I saw someone else grab this and it was rather metallic-like, so, um, Maybe it opens it. Ooh. Okay, this might be a little difficult since that just broke off. Okay, no, no, I'm getting it. So I don't know if you can see how metallic that is. But yeah, that. Okay. So hopefully you can see. And I'll hold it up to the camera here as soon as I'm done swatching these. I like them because they also, just so you know, they, they stand up, um, which takes up less space. And then this one is iridescent bright silver. Oh, looks like it's already started opening for me. I like the thickness that I'm seeing in these, and that is a nice metallic silver as well. All right, so bringing those up close to the camera, hopefully you can see the silver and the gold are quite shiny. And then um, as the paint's gray, pulls out here you can see that it does have somewhat of a blue content to it um, and if you can't see them in camera I can tell you that in person it, it really does have blue in it so all right so that's that I'm gonna close this up and put it in the trash and then I'm going to bring over paint brushes now um, this pile of paint brushes here uh, once again they were somewhat picked over okay um, what we grabbed here is um, something between, I think it's the three of us that picked. I went with my two daughters. So let me just kind of show you and I kind of remember who got what. I think this one was mine. Um, this is all purpose oil, watercolor, acrylic, and tempera. You really don't want to mix um, your oil based paints with your water based paints, but, um, it says you can use them on canvas, ceramic, fabric, wood, copper, tin, and other surfaces. And that's the same on a lot of these or most of these. So I'm not going to repeat that over and over again, but you've got a nice size brush here, nice variety. You've got some flats, you've got some rounds and, um, got a little teeny tiny round right there. So this was reduced $7.99 down to a dollar ninety nine and we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten brushes so um it looks like maybe about 20 cents a brush you, I, I don't know that you can get that price anywhere and this um from what i understand the fine cut i think yeah this is the hobby lobby brand so um and it tells you on the back what all the different brushes are. Not that they're all in this set, but what the different sizes are. Okay. Um, it explains to you what they are and what they look like. And then at the very top here, this is the, it has round and wash. And it says fan too, although I am not seeing it in this pack unless it's hiding. But we have another one right here. And this one, I do see the fan brush in it. And so, um, yeah, this one, same price, $7.99. Um, let me see if it has the same coat. Yeah, has the same code up here at the top, um, marked down to $1.99. So those two, that was their duplicates. So um, 
sorting <laughs> these out as we go. This was my other daughter. She picked out this pack um, with the yellow handles, and it is $4.99 marked down to $1.24. So $0.12, 13 cents. Maybe, no, there's fewer brushes here. So what do we got? One, two, three, four, five brushes. So 25 cents a brush, about the same. And this is called golden or gold nylon in a one, three, five, seven, and nine size. All right. And then I bought, I love the size of these. Look how, look at the length on these. I mean, they're just amazing, the length on this. And this was $7.99, marked down to $1.99. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six brushes here. Um, and so we've got, it looks like kind of flats um, and some rounds. So it looks like two rounds. And I'm going to call them flats. However, uh, what are they calling them? They're calling them filberts because they're kind of rounded off at the top. I would have loved to have find, found some of these other sizes, like um, an angle would have been nice, but at my store, they were um, really, really, really picked over on the brushes. So we got what we could find. And then these, um, these are silicone brushes. And um, the price for these were a little bit higher, and I can't remember if this was the bigger package. And what I mean by bigger is the tool size up here of the silicone if this was bigger they have two sizes there was a bigger and a smaller and I, this might be the bigger size I don't remember but anyway uh five different sizes this says size six silicone I don't know what that means um they all say six so it's just the different shapes but the size of I guess the roundness of it is a size six $13.99 marked down to $3.49. Um, and what you can do with this is um, you can dip it in water and wipe clean. Um, you can wipe the tip of your brush in alcohol or solvent uh, for oil-based paints and printing inks, um, in jelly plate, working with polymer clay. Um, yeah, you could do, you know, dip it in a solvent and then run it over your painted piece. Um, so it it basically is a paint remover from the surface that you're painting on, um, and then it also says not to leave them soaking in solvent because they are somewhat of a rubber, yeah, flexible rubber tip. So um, you really don't want them, you know, to be eaten up. Um, use with acrylic and oil for blending pastels and charcoal. So you could use those to blend, um, mix. However, um, but those are the paintbrushes that we found. So let me get resituated and I'll bring in the next set of items. All right, so the next set of items I found on sale were pens. So I have one here that is not on clearance. This was, um, my daughter picked these out. She does a lot of drawing and she needed some more white jelly roll pens and so this was $2.99 it was not on sale um however she needed it and so we went ahead and got it this, this, you know they're about a dollar a pen which is about typical that you find in most places so um that was for her the rest of these were on clearance so let's uh dive in here so the first one here is um a painter's pen. Um, I have a variety of painters pens. Um, this one is, um, it says it's ultra fine. It's an opaque paint marker and I'm trying to look for the name of the color. However, they are indicated by the color band up here. Um, boy, I just don't, oh here, maybe ultra black noir. Huh. Maybe this is black and not green. I thought it was going to be this green color. Um, well, that's interesting. If it is not, it says the cap. Oh, the cap indicates the pink color. There were two others there that were, they looked to be like Christmas colors. So like a red and a green that I really didn't care for. Um, so now I'm wondering <laughs> what color were those or were they just different sizes? Of a paint pen. So, um, yeah, I will go ahead and open this and 
Let's see, it says to twist in that direction, but I'm not, I need to break the seal. Let me just do that with my X-Acto knife because it's so much easier. Okay. All right, so if this is not that green color, which I'm guessing it's not, because it says it's the color of the cap, although the whole tube wants to, the whole wrapping wants to come off, and not the lid. Okay, so am I, boy. Okay, there we go. All right, so you can see that's what the nib looks like. I don't know if I bonked you as I was trying to get that open, but can you see this, this whole thing is trying to slide off off the end as I was trying to uncap it. So, okay, I've got scrap paper here, so let's let's get a go and see. Yep, it's black. Interesting. All right, well, I will be able to use that. Um, however, it was not what I expected. So, yeah, black paint pen on sale. Um, what did I say? It was about 60 some odd cents. I'll uh, put that in my pen drawer, although my pen drawer is getting quite full. <laughs> All right. Faber-Castile. Not everything from them is on sale, but there are a few things. This was a Pitt Artist Pen Calligraphy. This one is in white. Uh, that's interesting. I thought I grabbed a black one. Boy, I, you know, need to pay more attention. Anyway, $3.99, marked down to $99. This is a 2.5 size. I just leave this exacto knife out. The minute I do that is set something down on my desk. Um, I've got so much going on here that it tends to lose things. I have a pair of tweezers that I am still in search of. It's got to be here somewhere. I just don't see them. Not that I need them for this haul. <laughs> it's just something to tell you kind of how messy things are here. Okay, so pit pen, white. We're not going to be able to see uh, probably on the white paper, but look, it's a nice chisel that would be great for calligraphy let's see um yeah it's you can't see it because it's white on white let me see what else i have here that will work i have a lot of this blue paper so here we go so there yeah um you know if you were to pull down and move around um I do not know how to do calligraphy. That is something I want to learn. Um, I have seen other people do it and make it look beautiful. Um, but yeah, not me. Anyway, <laughs> nice white pit pen. Can't go wrong with that. Hope I said the price because I threw the packaging away. I can look again here. Yeah, 99 cents marked down from 3.99. So basically the $3 were knocked off. Um, then I got to this one. This is a Pentel Artist uh, Point Liner. This one was more in the graphic section, if I remember correctly, um, instead of in the pen section. So $3.49 marked down to $0.62. Cents. And this is going to be a black. It's a 0.1 millimeter. So just open this up and show you if you're used to seeing these kinds of marker and there it is very very fine line um, but very nice the uh, ink flows nice and smooth nice size pen put that on my desk as well and then i got this set here which is a set of four pit um artist pens uh, filled with India ink and this was uh, reduced down to $2.74 from $10.99 so um, yeah four four pens and I can tell you the sizes here um, all right there we go so 0.5 it looks like 0.5. It has a column on, but I'm guessing that's a point. A B, an FH, and an FM. So let's look at them and see what the difference. Okay, so this is a point fine tip. It might even be, it's not really quite brush, um, but I can see it working for calligraphy because 
it does have a little bit of flex to it and as you pull you can see where it goes wide and thin this is fm and that feels really really nice um pit pen nib medium it says uh, this one is the fh and it looks to be very similar let's see how it feels so yeah it does the same but just um a you know much finer point to it um i didn't show that up close so there's that um let's undo both of these so we've got an fm and an fh and to show you up close the difference between the two they feel very similar but um different in size okay just making sure i got the right cap on it nice that they have the name on the end of the pen as well as on the pen cap so you've got the right two together this is the point 1.5 oh it looks just like a regular marker i was thinking it was going to be more of um and this does feel more like a true marker however it's india ink instead of whatever they put in regular water-based markers. All right, so 1.5. And then this one is a B. And that looks to be more like a brush. So let's see. Yeah. So you can definitely do calligraphy with that. It has a nice, it's not quite as firm as the um, FM and FH tips but those are really nice pens all right so i know that this is long um but we have one more section and that is um sketchbooks and let me tell you we bought a lot between the three of us so let me pull those out and share with you what we got all right so here we go um i have a stack of sketchbooks here between the three of us um and i'll show you what we picked out so i grabbed this set here it was 5.99 marked down to a dollar 49 and it has four little sketch pads in here and uh it says three and a half by five and a half inches 240 pages total 60 pages in each book they are acid free um i was thinking that i don't really care for the covers on these. However, um, I did like the idea that, you know, they could go together in a junk journal and be um, the signatures. Um, this kind of has a, a waxy feel to it, although it's not coming off on my hand at all. Um, but these are nice sized and nice. The paper, I mean, it's paper but it's a nice quality sketchbook paper. So um, I also thought that if I didn't want to use these as signatures, that I could um, recover them myself, right? I, you know, I could collage on top of this and make nice little sketchbooks out of these um, for, what did I say, a dollar, what's the price? A dollar 49 for four notebooks. Uh, this is, what's on them maybe you like the design um they did have solid color notebooks but they were not on clearance they were 40 percent off but the price does not work out to be you know similar so um at six dollars and then 40 percent off of that is not going to come even close to a dollar 49 so i went ahead with the what i consider to be weird prints the southwest kind of look to them um, but yeah, I grabbed those. And then I, uh, this was the first one I grabbed. This is a 96 page sketchbook, five and a half by eight and a quarter. It's, uh, $7.99 marked down to $1.99. Um, just to open this up, it comes with the nice little sketch or stretch plastic the stretch here this does kind of have a cork feel to it although it's very pressed there's not I don't feel the texture of it and then this is like a denim down here um, and yeah so nice 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 sketchbook it looks like it has the ribbon divider 
and mark your place as well. A uh, nice little sketchbook. Next one I grabbed. <laughs> And, and these were all Master Touch brand. Not all sketchbooks are on sale. Not all Master Touch sketchbooks or dot, um, are they called dot, you know the ones that have the dots in them? Bullet, that's what they are. Bullet journals. <laughs> I knew I'd get it. Um, the bullet journals are also on sale and they are the Master's Touch brand. But once again, not all of them. So you really have to look for your reduced sticker. So this one, $9.99, marked down to $1.49. And this one is more of a paperback. Um, but I liked the design that was on the front cover here. They had another one that was um, kind of in brown tones like this. I don't think it had the foiling on it. Um, but it did say, I think it said create on the front. It, these two were together. Um, so yeah, this is a little bit thicker, not paper, but more pages, I would say, in this one. 128 pages in this one. And the cover feels really nice. Almost, almost like a moleskin. I mean, it's definitely paper, but it almost has like a moleskin feel to it. All right, this next one uh, my daughter picked out, so I'm not going to open it, um, but it looks like to be a faux leather. It looks like one of those um, really nice books. Um, it has the foiling on it here. Um, this was $21.99, marked down to $4.74, and it's a 5.7 by 8.1 sketchbook, acid-free, 240 pages. Did I get that right? Yeah, 240 pages. All right, then I grabbed this one. This is a set, again, of three sketchbooks. I thought it was just, at first I thought it was just the red, or you could pick one of the three colors, and it was this thick. But it's actually three different sketchbooks here, which is which is a nice a nice thing to have. 525, uh, 5, what am I saying? 5.25 inches by 8.25 inches. 80 pages each, 240 total, three different colored covers. Uh, $6.99, marked down to $1.74. So very similar to the smaller ones I showed you, but this is in a larger size. Um, I think at this point to unwrap them, I think you're getting the gist of what what we're what they're going to look like on the inside. This is a two pack. It is a six by eight inch uh, sketchbook, uh, 132 pages in each book. This was 15.99, marked down to 3.99, and the the pair that I picked out was a gray cover and a black cover. And I think there might have been another two colors, like a black with something else, if I remember correctly. Um, don't, I'm not positive about that. But anyway, I know that they had another set of the gray and the black in my store. Um, and I thought they had something else. And they both have the elastic band on it. It's interesting, the black book has the green band and the gray book has the black band and it looks like they have a corresponding color for the ribbon inside as well and then the last sketchbook here doesn't even fit in frame um, however it's not terribly large um, this uh, my daughter picked out it's really a beautiful quality um, sketchbook and this was eight eight and a quarter inches by 11.7 inches, acid-free, 96 pages, and it was $18.99, marked down to $4.74. Now, she was also looking for a um, mixed media book, because um, they had those in the same section. They had sketchbooks, they had the bullet journals, and they had um, a few mixed media books, and, like, and those were not on sale um, from this Master's Touch brand. However, as I said, the sign was 40% off, so um, she could have gotten it, um, you know, at a considerable mark-off price at the 40% um, off, but she chose not to grab that one, obviously, because it's not here in the stack. So anyway, that is everything that we found at our Hobby Lobby 
on clearance this week. And I uh, just want to say thank you to those other YouTubers that post what they find. Um, that is typically how I find out about the clearance sales is by looking at other YouTubers. So uh, hopefully this helped you find some materials that you're interested in as well. Um, I do the exact same thing by looking at other YouTubers. So um, I know that this will be useful and helpful to some of you. So enjoy your searching and, and your haul and what you find.